Hello out there, my name is Kate and welcome to AmeriKate. So this is the last video of my three concerts, 11 days series. For my last concert, I went to Rachel Platten's Wildfire Tour and it was at the Trucadero Theater in Philly. So let's get on to talking about the concert. I had VIP tickets for this concert. You get to meet her and you get a whole bunch of other um, gifts including this bag and everything else is in this bag. So one of the things was this poster and like I said this bag and there's also a on the website it was called a tour booklet but it's actually just the it's, it's, uh, trying to get to focus it is the wildfire album um the booklet that was in the wildfire album and she signed it well it's like a um i guess it's called a lanyard but it's like a hologram thing so i'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera but it just has all of the tour dates on the back and we also got a polaroid picture and to meet her after the show when we got let in we went straight to the merch table to pick all this up because it would be easier to pick it up um, before the show instead of after because then everyone else would be rushing out the doors and the merch table is right next to the doors so we didn't really want to fuss with that since we still had the meet and greet we went to the right side of the stage kind of where the speakers were but we could still see we had like an amazing view we were right up against the barricade so of course we were happy with that Rachel Platten had two opening acts during this concert. She had Christina Grimmie. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I'm sorry, Christina, if I said it wrong. She was so amazing. Please go check her out. Her voice is incredible. The next opening act was Eric Hutchinson. I don't know what that was. Eric actually walked off the stage and into the audience because he asked us to hold up our flashlights and make a spotlight in the center of the general admission area. So we did that, we were all kind of confused, like wait, shouldn't the spotlights be on the stage? But then I didn't really see him come out because I was on, I was against the barricade and he was more towards the back. But he started some sort of like dance circle in the middle of the room and oh my gosh, I've never seen an artist do that before. So go check him out too, he was amazing. Hello, my ear. Do you see me? And then it was finally time for Rachel to come out on stage. I think everyone knew because she announced it before that she was sick and that her throat was hurting and she was on vocal rest for everything but when she performed at concerts. I'm looking back at the videos that I took and she, it's she still sounds amazing like I'm watching and I'm like wait she was sick her voice was hurting what after a few songs she said that she really was thinking about canceling the show because she just didn't feel good at all and then she's like man why did I write these stupid encouraging words I can't cancel now I wrote fight song and she covered Justin Bieber's song love yourself on stage towards the end of the song she's like wait wait hold up and everyone gets silent and then she starts beatboxing like okay wasn't expecting that i didn't even know she could beatbox she looked at us she looked at us a bunch of times i was so happy oh my gosh rachel you have no idea how much i look up to you i think we were all amazed that she actually came on stage with her voice hurting and her being sick and all like, we just thought she was so strong for actually performing most of her set. So she went off, and then she came back on because she's like, I know that I can't leave you without performing Fight Song. So she did, but in a different way. She performed it without any fancy lights or anything, just her singing 
and playing keyboard, her alone on stage playing the keyboard and having the audience sing a lot of it back to her. At the end of the song, she's like, thank you, you guys are so cute, I love you so much, and she walked off. I'm not sure if she was actually crying, but I know that she definitely got teary-eyed because she was walking off and she was kind of like holding her face like she was about to cry, and Rachel, we love you so much. Oh my gosh, I hope you feel so much better. We waited for everyone else to leave so that we could do the meet and greet, and um, one of the security people working there was like, she can't talk or anything, you know, because of her, her voice. She didn't need to say a word to me, and I knew that she was the sweetest person in the world. And there was a few people there that did not really follow the concert etiquette, I guess you could call it, that everyone just kind of assumes and they do follow it when they go to concerts. No, no. If you want me to do a concert etiquette video, I know that I never said this in the past, I don't really like to, um, like I don't want my viewers to like the video or subscribe because I said to. I don't really like to do that. Like if you like my videos, you should just subscribe regardless of me having to tell you to subscribe or ask you to subscribe. But in this case, I just want to see where this goes. So like this video. If you want me to do a video on concert etiquette and kind of just my opinions on what I think is appropriate at concerts. And I've talked to other people about this too. And they basically agree with everything I had to say about this. So like this video or comment if you want me to do a concert etiquette video for concerts that are in stadiums or even the general admission concerts in small theaters where there's just standing room or general admission concerts where there is sitting room sitting room where there are seats just one more thing please try to get rachel or eric or christina or anybody from their crew to see this video that would be amazing share this with them however you can but i really hope you enjoyed this three concerts 11 days series and hopefully i could do another one for you I love concerts, they are so amazing, and I just want to remind you to live life you like, I just want to remind you to live life like you are at a constant concert because, and I just want to remind you to live life like you are at a, oh I can't talk, I just want to remind you to live life like you are at a constant, con what am I doing with my life? Slows down a little bit. I just want to remind you to live life like you are at a constant concert and enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to say for this video. Bye!